Life is a journey filled with ups and downs, where finding motivation and inspiration becomes essential. For those who have faith in Jesus Christ and God, this quest is deeply rooted in their spiritual beliefs. Together, motivated by faith in Jesus and God, these forces create a fulfilling life, guiding us through life's twists and turns, leading us towards self-discovery and growth. In the video ahead, we'll explore how faith-based motivation and inspiration can be cultivated, from discovering purpose to nurturing resilience. Join us on this faith-filled journey, as we unlock the secrets to a life filled with motivation and inspiration, all under the loving guidance of Jesus and God. With faith as our compass, we embark on a transformative quest, making dreams a reality under their loving care. Romans 12 verse 1 Therefore I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Colossians 3 verses 23 to 24 Whatever you do, work at it with all your heart as working for the Lord, not for human masters, since you know that you will receive an inheritance from the Lord as a reward. It is the Lord Christ you are serving. Proverbs 16 verse 3 Commit to the Lord whatever you do, and he will establish your plans. Joshua 24 verse 15 but if serving the Lord seems undesirable to you, then choose for yourselves this day whom you will serve, whether the gods your ancestors served beyond the Euphrates, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land you are living. But as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. 2 Timothy 2 verse 15 do your best to present yourself to God as one approved, a worker who does not need to be ashamed and who correctly handles the word of truth. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 24 Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one gets the prize? Run in such a way as to get the prize. Matthew 6 verse 24 No one can serve two masters. Either you will hate the one and love the other, or you will be devoted to the one and despise the other. You cannot serve both God and money. Psalm 37 verse 5 Commit your way to the Lord. Trust in Him, and He will do this. 10. 1 Peter 4 verse 10 Each of you should use whatever gift you have received to serve others, as faithful stewards of God's grace in its various forms. Ephesians 6 verse 7 Serve wholeheartedly, as if you were serving the Lord, not people. Psalm 119 verse 105 your word is a lamp for my feet, a light on my path. Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6 Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. 1 Chronicles 29 verse 14 But who am I, and who are my people? that we should be able to give as generously as this. Everything comes from you, and we have given you only what comes from your hand. Matthew 16 verse 24 Then Jesus said to his disciples, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. Galatians 2 verse 20 I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live, 
but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 17 Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come, the old has gone, the new is here. Matthew 22 verse 37 Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. Romans 6 verse 13 Do not offer any part of yourself to sin as an instrument of wickedness, but rather offer yourselves to God as those who have been brought from death to life and offer every part of yourself to him as an instrument of righteousness. Proverbs 3 verses 9 to 10 Honor the Lord with your wealth, with the first fruits of all your crops. Then your barns will be filled to overflowing, and your vats will brim over with new wine. Hebrews 12 verse 1 Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles. And let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us. Mark 8 verse 34 Then he called the crowd to him along with his disciples and said, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross and follow me. 1 Corinthians 6 verses 19 to 20 Do you not know that your bodies are temples of the Holy Spirit, who is in you, whom you have received from God? You are not your own, you were bought at a price. Therefore, honor God with your bodies. James 1 verse 22 Do not merely listen to the word, and so deceive yourselves. Do what it says. Romans 6 verse 16 Don't you know that when you offer yourselves to someone as obedient slaves, you are slaves of the one you obey whether you are slaves to sin, which leads to death, or to obedience, which leads to righteousness? 1 Corinthians 10 verse 31 So whether you eat or drink or whatever you do, do it all for the glory of God. 1 Corinthians 6 verse 20 You were bought at a price. Therefore honor God with your bodies. 2 Timothy 1 verse 7 for the Spirit God gave us does not make us timid, but gives us power, love, and self-discipline. 1 Thessalonians 5 verses 16 to 18 Rejoice always, pray continually, give thanks in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. Galatians 5 verse 16 so I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. Hebrews 13 verse 15 Through Jesus, therefore, let us continually offer to God a sacrifice of praise the fruit of lips that openly profess his name. James 4 verses 7 to 8 Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Come near to God, and he will come near to you. 1 Peter 1 verses 15 to 16 But just as he who called you is holy, so be holy in all you do. For it is written, Be holy, because I am holy. Psalm 19 verse 14 May these words of my mouth and this meditation of my heart be pleasing in your sight, Lord, my rock and my redeemer. 2 Timothy 2 verse 21 
those who cleanse themselves from the latter will be instruments for special purposes, made holy, useful to the master and prepared to do any good work. Psalm 143 verse 10 Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. May your good spirit lead me on level ground. Romans 1 verse 16 For I am not ashamed of the gospel, because it is the power of God that brings salvation to everyone who believes, first to the Jew, then to the Gentile. Colossians 3 verse 17 And whatever you do, whether in word or deed, do it all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 No temptation has overtaken you except what is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, he will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 5 and they exceeded our expectations. They gave themselves first of all to the Lord, and then by the will of God also to us. Philippians 1 verse 21 For to me, to live is Christ and to die is gain. Romans 14 verse 8 If we live, we live for the Lord, and if we die, we die for the Lord. So, whether we live or die, we belong to the Lord. Hebrews 12 verse 28 Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful, and so worship God acceptably with reverence and awe. Psalm 37 verse 4 Take delight in the Lord, and he will give you the desires of your heart. 1 Corinthians 3 verse 16 Don't you know that you yourselves are God's temple and that God's Spirit dwells in your midst? 1 Timothy 4 verse 12 Don't let anyone look down on you because you are young, but set an example for the believers in speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. Matthew 6 verse 33 but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. 49. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10. But by the grace of God I am what I am, and his grace to me was not without effect. No, I worked harder than all of them, yet not I, but the grace of God that was with me. Proverbs 19 verse 21 Many are the plans in a person's heart, but it is the Lord's purpose that prevails. James 1 verse 12 Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial because, having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. 1 Timothy 6 verse 12 Fight the good fight of the faith. Take hold of the eternal life to which you were called when you made your good confession in the presence of many witnesses. Philippians 3 verse 14 I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. 54 Romans 12 verse 2 do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is his good, pleasing and perfect will. Psalm 119 verse 11 I have hidden your word in my heart that I might not sin against you. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 7 each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, 
For God loves a cheerful giver. John 14 verse 21 Whoever has my commands and keeps them is the one who loves me. The one who loves me will be loved by my Father and I too will love them and show myself to them. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. 1 Peter 2 verse 9 But you are a chosen people, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, God's special possession, that you may declare the praises of him who called you out of darkness into his wonderful light. Proverbs 3 verse 6 In all your ways submit to him, and he will make your path straight. 2 Corinthians 5 verse 20 We are therefore Christ's ambassadors, as though God were making his appeal through us. We implore you on Christ's behalf, be reconciled to God. Matthew 28 verses 19 to 20 Therefore go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of the age. Proverbs 4 verse 23 Above all else, guard your heart, for everything you do flows from it. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 11 Therefore encourage one another and build each other up, just as in fact you are doing. 1 Corinthians 9 verse 22 to the weak I became weak, to win the weak. I have become all things to all people so that by all possible means I might save some. 1 Peter 5 verses 6 to 7 Humble yourselves, therefore, under God's mighty hand, that he may lift you up in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you. Proverbs 11 verse 25 A generous person will prosper. Whoever refreshes others will be refreshed. Luke 9 verse 23 Then he said to them all, Whoever wants to be my disciple must deny themselves and take up their cross daily and follow me. 70 Isaiah 6 verse 8 then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, Whom shall I send? And who will go for us? And I said, Here am I, send me. Matthew 5 verse 16 In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Colossians 3 verse 2 Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. John 3 verse 30 He must become greater, I must become less. 1 Corinthians 15 verses 57 to 58 But thanks be to God. He gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain. Ephesians 5 verses 15 to 16 Be very careful, then, how you live not as unwise but as wise, making the most of every opportunity because the days are evil. 2 Corinthians 8 verse 12 For if the willingness is there, the gift is acceptable according to what one has, not according to what one does not have. Romans 6 verse 4 
We were therefore buried with him through baptism into death in order that, just as Christ was raised from the dead through the glory of the Father, we too may live a new life. Psalm 37 verse 23 The Lord makes firm the steps of the one who delights in him. Romans 10 verse 9 If you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. 2 Peter 1 verse 3 His divine power has given us everything we need for a godly life through our knowledge of him who called us by his own glory and goodness. Galatians 6 verse 9 Let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. Humble yourselves before the Lord, and he will lift you up. 1 Thessalonians 5 verse 24 The one who calls you is faithful, and he will do it. Romans 8 verses 38 to 39 For I am convinced that neither death nor life, either angels nor demons, either the present nor the future, nor any powers, either height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation, will be able to separate us from the love of God that is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Psalm 34 verse 8 Taste and see that the Lord is good. Blessed is the one who takes refuge in him. Galatians 5 verses 22 to 23 But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things there is no law. Philippians 3 verse 10 I want to know Christ, yes, to know the power of his resurrection and participation in his sufferings, becoming like him in his death. Psalm 119 verse 18 Open my eyes that I may see wonderful things in your law. Romans 5 verse 8 But God demonstrates his own love for us in this. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Hebrews 4 verse 12 For the word of God is alive and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It penetrates even to dividing soul and spirit, joints and marrow. It judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Colossians 3 verses 1 to 2 since then you have been raised with Christ, set your hearts on things above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. Set your minds on things above, not on earthly things. Proverbs 3 verse 27 Do not withhold good from those to whom it is due, when it is in your power to act. Hebrews 10 verse 25 let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another and all the more as you see the day approaching. 1 John 4 verse 7 Dear friends, let us love one another, for love comes from God. Everyone who loves has been born of God and knows God. Ephesians 4 verse 32 be kind and compassionate to one another, forgiving each other, just as in Christ God forgave you. 2 Corinthians 9 verse 8 And God is able to bless you abundantly, so that in all things at all times, having all that you need, you will abound in every good work. Colossians 3 verse 15 let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts, since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Philippians 1 verse 6 
being confident of this, that he who began a good work in you will carry it on to completion until the day of Christ Jesus. Romans 15 verse 13 May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him, so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 58 Therefore, my dear brothers and sisters, stand firm. Let nothing move you. Always give yourselves fully to the work of the Lord, because you know that your labor in the Lord is not in vain.